babes, it's your girl Brooke going live with the Brie Talk and child, we have to talk about Miss Juicy Baby from the Ricky Smalley Morning Show and her departure. Before we get into that, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Baby! Ooh, did y'all hear the ghetto girl pop? It's about to be good. So Miss Juicy decided to do an IG press conference to state what everybody was wondering, where the hell is Miss Juicy at? You know, Miss Juicy baby, the epitome of the staple of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Her IG life was like 18 minutes, but we took a small clip. The rest of it you can see on my social media. Make sure you follow me, follow me on the free apps. Let's take a listen. So I know you was told recently uh, by the live video that was posted that the reason why I left was because I was filming, uh, because I had to film Little Women Atlanta. I'm a part of Little Women Atlanta, everyone knows. Um, and I, there's no way that I would be able to film that show and the Rick and Smiley Morning Show move to Dallas, Texas. That is not the reason. So everybody was would know. It wasn't because I had to film Little Women Atlanta and I couldn't be in Dallas. If I was not fired, other comments were saying that I was fired. So um, again, that's another reason why I say I, I feel like I owed it to my fans and to my supporters, my listeners and everybody else. I, I feel like if something was gonna be said, again, this is my opinion, if something was going to be said, it should have been a truth or a corporate political comment should have been made. This is sad. This is really sad. Um, the production team and everybody else was sitting up there talking about due to her filming, her filming constraints and contract obligations, she can't make it. And I knew that was some bullshit. She was filming Little Women of Atlanta the entire time before all of a sudden it's interfering with her being on the radio. See, one thing y'all don't know about Miss Juicy Baby, she is a workhorse. Sis gets the bag. She is all about her business and branding. I'll never forget when my homeboy put me on to Little Women Atlanta. And I was like, this woman says she runs Atlanta. He was like, and she do. No lie, he bought the bobblehead and I bought one too. <laughs> but I'm not understanding this. This is not the first time Ricky Smiley has done this. He did the same exact thing with Ebony Steele and didn't even give a reason why just to turn around on his tired ass show on TV One to do an apology. Now for those who don't know, Ricky Smiley would have never gotten his show without Ebony Steel. She's the reason he is here now. I get wanting to take over the market because he took over Tom Joyner's demographics and syndication. But at the same time, why cut the people who make the show? You know what would shake things up? Actually getting somebody who's going to bring real tea on there. Gary with the tea is tired. He's through, he's delayed getting some more personalities in there. I felt like it was a good fit, but he's firing all these women. He only keeps old boy who does the sports and head crack. What purpose are they serving? Like, honestly, when they were drawing up the plans and talking about the takeover, Miss Juicy was in there, she was in all the promo, she was in everything. Then they start filming in the new studio and she's not there. To me, this is a problem. This is giving me messy bottom vibes Yes, I said it. This is not the first time people have said that Ricky Smiley is jealous of certain women, of their light, and the things that they do business-wise. I will never forget that interview that Claudia Jordan did with uh, The Breakfast Club, and they were stating some things, and Charlamagne the God even came out and told some tea, you know, before he got all Hollywood on us. No, before he decided the, the check was bigger than, you know, spilling the tea. Nothing wrong with that. Get to your money. My whole thing is, I don't think the show is going to be any good without Miss Juicy. 
a lot of people were saying in the comments, you know, her stitch, her is getting kind of outdated and yada yada yada. They're still doing, still doing prank calls on the radio. They're still calling up people and doing skits and whatever, what what. And Ricky Smiley still does uh, the old lady sketch. So if Miss Juicy's baby sketch is old. His is old. He's been doing it for almost 20 years now. That's all I'm gonna say about that. 12 years down the drain. And you can really see the hurt in Miss Juicy's um, voice and her face, her disposition. It just, ugh. Ricky Smiley, you lost a fan. But those are my thoughts. Do y'all think the show will be any good without her? Do you think it'll get better? Do you think it was time to move on? I wish her nothing but the best. These are my thoughts. Those are my opinions. Comment down below and I gotta go. Bye, host.